Good morning, everyone. Um, going to be showing you guys uh, something that we're going to install into our van here in a few weeks. Uh, I've got everything here. I can't do it now because I had surgery on my foot, so my mobility has been hampered a little bit. As you can see, I'm in a, I don't know what kind of boot. I thought it was a compression boot, but I think it's some kind of a walking boot, but it still hurts since this surgery was uh, last Thursday. So, um, like I said, we're going to catch up on a few things we're going to do to the van. Uh, the first one is going to be a uh, bunk heater. This bunk heater, uh, I found it on a forum, a transit forum. I think they retail for about seven and a half. It is from General. It is the, uh, the Bison 2000A gasoline. Gasoline, not diesel uh, bunk heater. It is made in China. However, um, this uh, General Components has, has been using this since the 80s. And um, I took it apart and inspected it. And this thing's solid. It, it is plastic on the outside, but it's thick plastic. Comes with a nice exhaust hose. The mount for the uh, pump is nice and rubber. There's no metal in it except for right through here on the sleeve. So that'll cut way down on vibration. I also got this kit here. So uh, I got this um, from VMAX. It is a kit that consists of an adapter with a port, the hose to go from the adapter to the fuel line, and a couple clamps. Ford Transits um, have on the fuel tank uh, another pipe going down in there, another feed. And you pop the cap off, you put that one on, and you plug right into it, and then run it to the pump. I'm uh, also going to be installing a um, aftermarket fuel filter. This one does come with a fuel filter. It's a little tiny thing. It's in the bag over there. But I'm going to add another one to it. And I think that also might be a filter, but I'm not sure. i be careful with that. The wiring, solid wiring. Yeah, really good wiring, nice and thick. The um, air duct that comes off of the heater, not just that cheap aluminum stuff you get from the uh, diesel heaters. Uh, check out the fuel line, nice and thick. It's not flimsy, can't bend it like that green stuff. So that'll work out really well also. Uh, another thing I noticed too that I wasn't real happy about, but. This is the intake for your combustion chamber. All I've got is that on there. So um, I ordered a filter uh, for that. A lot of the all-in-ones come with a filter on it. Um, and, that, and that's going to keep you know critters and stuff out, little mice and stuff when you're up in the uh, hills or, or out in the desert. Um, and it uh, will unscrew once I get it, put it on there, it'll, it'll unscrew. And you can clean it out. And then you've got the, uh, let me put this down here real quick, show you. Rotates, it's not fixed. So that's beautiful. We are gonna be uh, mounting this under the passenger seat. I also bought some of this silicone high heat tubing or a, a sheath if you want to call it that. Um, I took it out of the bag and I stuffed the fuel line in there. It went in easy. It wasn't a problem at all. So that'll help protect it from road debris and also from heat because I'm going to try to route this exhaust pipe to the driver's side because we've got a window on the uh, passenger side and plus the sliding glass door. So let's see what else. Got a nice gasket for the plate. Here's the plate, pretty thick, as you can see. So I can't wait to get this thing installed, but I'm gonna have to. Oh yeah, it does come with this auxiliary port pickup tube if you uh, don't have a transit, I guess. Um, someone told me that the uh, sprinters have that uh, this style on top of the fuel tank too, where you can plug one of these in. Just in case you didn't get that part number, it's right there. There's their phone number. Give them a call and order it. I, 
it was like fifty dollars I think or thirty nine I can't remember it was a week ago plus I'm on pain meds so <laughs> anyways um, this comes from Canada it took about a week or so to get here but um, that's what we're going to be doing next we're also going to change uh, the mosquito or bug netting on the slider it's getting old and starting to rip Roxanne bought one that uh, you take off your door molding on the outside and you put it in there and then you put your molding back in so it holds it up that way so you don't have to velcro it or uh, screw it in uh, some of those are velcro and so you know how velcro can be iffy sometimes they'll stick and sometimes they won't so um, look forward to sharing our installation with you guys as soon as we can um, like I said it might be a few weeks trips are uh, out for right now maybe toward the end of May we're, we might head out to the uh, or the uh, Mojave Desert for a couple days so we'll take you guys with us if you want to come along please hit like and subscribe to our channel when you hit like it makes me feel good about doing these videos it makes Roxanne feel good too if you don't hit like we don't know that you like it so if you don't like it heck tell us why you don't like it and then we'll try to improve so if you guys don't tell us we don't know so we'll just keep making boring videos I guess but anyways just kidding uh, you guys all take care peace